back to my channel. I'm Mariah and today we're going to be doing something super exciting. I've been saving up products for a long time that I wanted to share with you and now I have enough that I was able to do every single product on my face as a new one. So I literally mean everything is a first impression. All the way from the primer, the brows, the eyeliner, the mascara, the foundation, the blush, the highlighter, everything is new. So I'm so excited because I've been waiting to try all of these products for so long and I finally get to do it and all at once. So it's like being on Christmas and having a bunch of new things to open and try out. So I'm very excited. I hope you guys are excited too and I appreciate you watching this video. So if you'd like to see how I got this look with all new products and you would like to know what I think about them, just keep on watching. Okay, so to start off, the first thing that I'm going to be using is the NYX Angel Veil Primer. And this is a face primer. I'm excited to try this out because a lot of people have said many great things about this. So I'm just gonna apply this to my hands and apply it all over my face. My first reaction to this is that it is very smooth. My skin feels very flawless and soft and silky. So that's a good thing that I like with my primer. And I also did want to mention that because this is a new camera, I am trying to figure out these autofocus settings. I am totally lost on this. Like I told you guys before in my last video, this is brand new to me, this type of camera. I'm still trying to figure out how to make it focus on an object rather than my face. So I'm still learning. Just bear with me, guys. I'm going to probably be showing you all of the products closer to my body. That way it's more and focused rather than putting it up to the lens. So next I have a little blemish here. I'm going to try out this NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer and this is in the color green, which green is supposed to work to counteract the red spots on your face. So I'm just going to put my finger in there and dab it on my blemish. For foundation I'm going to use the NYX Invincible Foundation which it claims is fullest coverage foundation. Sounds like my kind of foundation. I love full coverage. The fuller the better because I have a lot of blemishes and just spots on my face and freckles that I like to cover up. I'm going to apply this with my Miracle Complexion Sponge from Real Techniques, which isn't new or first impression, but I need to apply this foundation with something other than my fingers because it drives me crazy. When I first started applying this foundation, it looked really orange, which made me nervous, but it actually is blending out a lot better than it applied at first. And I feel like this is going to be a good color for me. The color of this one is Light Pale, or INF04. I'm actually really impressed with this. Looking in the mirror, it is complete full coverage, which I did not expect. I don't know what it is about foundation and tubes, but for some reason, I always think that they're not going to work as well if they're in a tube. Not sure why. I guess it just doesn't look as nice and expensive. I don't know. But this one actually is very full coverage. It covered that blemish right up. I feel like it covers all of my acne and my freckles. I feel like it makes my face look really smooth and it makes my complexion look even, which is something that I love in a foundation. So I really like that so far. On to the next item. I'm also using this for the first time and I can't believe it's taken me so long, but it is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I know a lot of people have had this for a long time. I'm just now jumping on the MAC bandwagon. The color that I bought this in is in NW20. So this is a very light color. I do believe that there was one lighter that I liked, but the lady at the matte counter kind of convinced me to go with this one. So we'll see how I like it. I do like a very bright concealer under my eyes. So hopefully this is light enough for me. I'm also going to apply this on my forehead, down the center of my nose and on my chin. And they were not kidding. This is very full coverage. I'm excited. I don't know why it took me this long to try this out. So far, this face full of first impressions is going really well. I'm excited because I think I'm going to have a lot of new favorites here. Okay. So I actually don't think this is too dark. I'm okay with the color. So I really like this. Once again, it's NW20. And I love the coverage that I get. I feel like it fills in those fine lines right underneath my eyes, so I really like that. The next item is something I really never heard anybody talking about on YouTube, but I saw it in the drugstore and I thought I had to have it and had to try it. I love Wet n Wild products, so when I saw it, I picked it up right away. I think this was only like $5 or something, and it's huge, so that's really great. It is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. 
So it looks like this. We have a light shade on this side and then your bronzing color on the other side. We really do not want anybody getting into this in the store. All right, we got it open. So it is a huge contouring palette. These are really big sizes. I don't know if this would be friendly to take in your purse, but I do love that it's such a big palette for such a cheap price. We'll see how it performs as well. I'm just going to be using the Real Techniques setting brush to put the light color underneath my eyes. As I've mentioned before, it's always good to set your concealer with a powder to keep from getting the product in your fine lines and wrinkles. Wrinkles. So I also really like this. I'm surprised. I was expecting to have a lot that I loved and a lot that I didn't like with so many first impressions, but this settles really well with the concealer that I used. I don't see any fine lines or wrinkles where I set that at, so I'm really excited about that. But I'll tell you what I'm not so excited about, and that is this raspy voice of mine. I have got some serious sinus and allergy issues right now with the weather changing in Ohio, and my voice just cannot handle it. It's all this stuff trying to clear out and my voice just comes in and out. Trust me, I can't sing or anything and it's driving me crazy, so just bear with me through this raspy voice of mine. I'm going to use the bronze color on the other side along with the e.l.f. contouring brush and I'm just going to dab it in there and then start at my ears and bring it down like I would my regular contour. Okay, so upon first application, this looks very orange, which in the package it doesn't. It looks very taupey, so we'll see how it blends out and see if it looks natural. I'm going to also use the e.l.f. blending brush to go in a little bit easier with this and blend out my contour. I don't know, this one kind of went on patchy. I don't know if it's just my brushes doing that or the actual powder, but it looks really patchy to me and it also kind of looks red, which is weird because I've never used a bronzer. It makes me look like I already have bronzer and blush on, but I'm going to try this again and we'll see where we get. I don't know how I feel about that. Alright, I'm going to use the e.l.f. small tapered brush on the other side to see if that makes a big difference. Oh yeah, that applied much nicer. A lot smoother, it blended out more. I still don't know how I feel about this color because just to me it looks kind of red or pinkish, which is so weird because in the packaging it does not look red or pink at all. So I'm gonna go back over the other side with this small tapered brush to blend it out a little nicer. So it by far isn't my favorite bronzing powder I've ever used. I probably wouldn't use it mainly for contouring, but I really do love the light color on the other side for highlighting under my eyes with my concealer. So I mean it's only five dollars, it's not a bad deal, and I probably would purchase it again just for the lighter color. Also that darker color might work better on people of different skin tones, just for me it looks a little bit red or orange and I don't really like that for contouring. So I'm just going to continue to use this for the rest of my contouring since I already started and I'm going to use the e.l.f. ultimate blending brush to contour around my forehead and on my neck. These earrings are all in the way. I think I'm going to add a little bit extra of the light colored powder on my forehead because the contouring just looks a little bit too dark for me. And then I'm going to take my Real Techniques powder brush and just blend that together. Alright, so that looks better. It really doesn't look that bad by the time I finished everything. But like I said, it's only $5. It's worth it, especially for the light colored powder. And the bronzing color isn't awful. It's just not my favorite. Next is blush, and I'm really excited about this first impression because I've been holding on to this for a while now, and I got this from Sephora. I think they had a sale. I don't know if it was 20% off or something, so I decided to get this, and it is the Too Faced Love Flush Blush Plap. Can I say it? It is the Too Faced Love Flush Blush Palette. That's a tongue twister for sure. Prior to this purchase, I did not own any Too Faced blushes, which I've heard great things about, so I figured I needed to do it, and I wasn't sure what color to go for, so going with this palette, you get a huge arrangement of colors. So, we have this one here is Love Hangover. It is just kind of like a pinky peach mixed together. Then there's Baby Love, which is a more taupey blush color. We have I Will Always Love You, which is your gorgeous peach color. 
How deep is your love is your bright pink? Justify my love is a uh, pinkish purple in the middle and then you have your your love is king which is like your mauve which I love. Because I'm wearing this orange today I think I'm going to try the peachy color. I will always love you and we'll see how that goes. As always I'm using the Real Techniques blush brush and I'm just going to dip it in this one and apply it to the high points of my cheeks. That is very, very pretty. These are easy to work with and easy to blend out and build up. So I really do like the formula. I like the peach color. It's not something I normally would go for, but I figured with the orange it would look nice. So we'll go ahead and do the other side. This bronzer and I are just not getting along. I'm all right with it now, we will move on. Another Wet n Wild purchase with the really difficult sticker, so I'm gonna start peeling it now, is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Palette. So this is like your highlighting palette. It has different golds, pinks, and an orange or a bright gold. I like this because you can use just one of the colors or you can mix them all together for a really cool highlight. Once again, I think it was only four or five dollars and it is a huge palette. So it's like three fourths the size of my face for five dollars, you cannot beat that. So because it's big, it's also really easy to get just one color if that's what you wanted to do. This is just a cheap blush brush from CVS from Essence of Beauty. And I'm just going to do a swipe all the way across. I'll get all the colors on there and apply it to the high points. Ooh, I really, really like that. It's super pretty. It definitely stands out, that's for sure. And I like these colors all together. I didn't know if I would. I feel like this side the pink's standing out more and this side the gold colors are standing out more. And I think I do like the gold colors better but I do like both of them and I think it's really pretty on both sides. This is a really good deal, so this one I definitely say is worth it. I'm going to set my face with the new Maybelline Master Fix Setting Plus Perfecting Loose Powder. So this is supposed to be something sort of like the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. It is translucent as well and it's supposed to be used to just set all of your makeup and make it look flawless. I feel like my Laura Mercier powder is a little bit more of a sand color or like a neutral color and this one is bright white so I don't know how this would work with a flash I don't know if it would give you that awful white cast which I really hope not because everybody hates that white cast I'm just gonna use this along with my elf kabuki face brush swirl it in there and tap some off and just apply this all over my face I feel like my face looks a lot smoother with this stuff, so that's exciting. I really like how this looks. I just pray that it doesn't leave white cast because that's my biggest problem with face setting powders. So I'll have to test that out and let you guys know what I find. But it definitely gives you a more smooth and perfect looking flawless face. I love that about that. So, so far that one's a good one. Moving on to brows, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Brow Define and Fill Duo. So this has two sides. It has one side that's really pointed that you can use to define it, and then another one that's a little bit thicker you can use in the center to fill it up. And I bought this one in deep brown. I don't think they had a black when I was buying this, but we'll see how it works. Kind of stinks because I'm going to that burgundy color next week and I have all of these brow products that are black and brown, which are not gonna work, so I'm gonna have to repurchase all of these. So here's the pointed side. I don't know if you can see that there. Are you in focus? Okay. So it's pointed, we're just going to use this on the outer edges. It's very creamy, so this goes on really light and easy. You do not have to press hard, that's really awesome. I like that. And it is dark enough that it would work with black hair too. Okay, so that is the Define side. I feel like it did a great job outlining my brows. And then the other side for fill, that is so weird. So it's like a sponge and then you press down and I guess the powder will come out. I'm not really sure how this works. It's so weird looking, but I guess we're gonna try it. I don't even know if anything's coming out. So the packaging for this says, that the, it's a filling powder, which actually describes this perfectly. It's a powder coming out of a sponge, so it's super weird for me. I don't know if I really like this side, but it does work to fill in the middle and make it look more natural. 
I probably will stick to the defined side and then use my Tame and Frame or my Dip Brow Pomade for the center. But we're going to try and finish it out. Alright, for eyes I'm going to use the Benefit Stay Don't Stray in Light Medium for my eyeshadow primer. This is just a sample but it's something that I haven't tried yet so I wanted to use it on camera. It's a lot more smoother in consistency once you start rubbing it so I take that back. It's not that thick. It'll probably be just fine. The Vice 4. Isn't it so pretty? I just love it. Okay, so I haven't got my hands on this yet, but these have some gorgeous colors there. I don't know if you can tell, but um, I'm thinking I'm going to go with this orange color shade at the bottom called Bitter, and then, ooh, then I'll probably use the color Delete in my crease, which is just a chocolate brown, and then the color Framed as my highlight shade on my brow. So I guess I'm going to use the brush it came with here. It's got a flat side on this side, which I'll probably use for my lid, and then it has a little bit of a fluffy side here, which I'm going to use for my crease. Then I'll just use my basic highlighting brush for under my brows, which is that eyeshadow brush that came with my Zyla extensions. I wish I knew anything else about it, but it's great for highlighting right under the brow. These are so pigmented, let me just tell you. I dipped it in there twice, and look how dark that orange is. Wow just got to be careful with it. These blend really nicely too. It's going on kind of patchy but I'm going to switch to the other eye just because it has a lot of product here and I don't want it to get too dark. I think it's this brush making it look patchy so I'm going to use a different brush for this and I'm going to use the e.l.f. crease brush. Yeah, that blends out much, much better with this brush. So that got dark pretty quick. I think I took it up just a little bit too far past my crease. So I'm just going to take a really fluffy brush and just try and blend a lot of that out. Now using the highlight brush and the color framed, I'm going to put highlight color under my brow. I really like this color too. It's very neutral and nude, so it's gonna look like your natural skin there, but still give you that extra pop of color to make it really highlighted there. It ended up working. I really like these colors. I feel like it's gonna go really well with this outfit, and I love how pigmented they are. That orange just really pops, and I feel like it looks good with the brown eyes with the darkness to it. So I really like this palette. I'm excited to play with it some more because it has a lot of pretty colors in there. To eyeliner, I have a mini size of the They're Real Push Up Liner by Benefit. And I have not used this product before. It came in my Real Cheeky palette. Oh wow, okay. I've never even seen this in person, but it's very slanted. But then it's also extremely skinny. So this is gonna be interesting to work with. I don't even know how to make it work. You gotta twist it, shake it. Oh my gosh, you guys. There's a twist at the bottom. I've been twisting this literally forever. Oh! I knew that was going to happen. I twisted it way too much, guys. Darn it. So you have to twist it a really long time for anything to start to come out, but then once it does, it might come out too quick, so be careful. Oh my gosh, this stuff comes out so smooth, so easy, so velvety. But because this thing moves at the top, you have to be really careful with it so that you aren't getting it all over. It's pretty dark too, so that's always a good thing. Okay, so my thoughts on this are, if you have a steady hand, I think you're gonna love this because it goes on so smooth and easy that it's really awesome to work with and it's super dark and pigmented so it's going to help you there but I just have a shaky hand and I feel like because of the flexibility in the tip it's really hard for me to keep it in a straight line and it got a little bit thicker than I wanted to a little quick so for me it's really hard to work with just because my hands are so shaky and I'm not as steady as I would like to be but if you're one of those blessed people who are very steady this is an amazing product I love how dark it is I love how smoothly it glides you just have to have a steady hand to be able to work with this right. 
Okay, so the bottom waterline is really hard to do. So it doesn't look half bad. It was just trying to get it on that was the struggle. But it's really nice. I love how dark it looks. So moving on to mascara, I just have a little ornament from Christmas and a yes, I've been saving it that long. With Christmas and buying a lot of gifts, I was kind of short on money. So I just bought this little ornament trial size and if I love it, then I'll go buy the full size. So it's so cute, isn't it? I love the little pink metallic packaging. I think that's so cute. Okay, so just by looking at it, it's really intimidating, the brush. It's very big and thick, and it has lots of bristles, so we'll see how this works. There's not really a curve to it, so here we go. Okay, so it actually separates the lashes really, really well. I'm impressed. I wish I knew the reason why it's impossible for me to keep my mouth closed when I apply mascara. I know a lot of people have that problem, but I just wonder like, what, what does it actually get you? Why do you have to have your mouth open? And the only thing I can think of is when your mouth's open, it pulls the skin here down a little bit, so maybe it's easier to get to your lashes. I don't know, just a side note. Okay, so I love this mascara. I feel like in order to get this look with all of my other mascaras, I have to apply a couple different layers to get it this dark and all of my lashes showing. And I feel like with just one layer, I'm extremely impressed with this. So, so far so good. I'm gonna go ahead and continue. I'm gonna do one more layer on my top lashes. I think my bottom looks good, but I'd like a little bit more on the top. And now I know why so many people love this mascara. There's a reason for it and it's amazing. Even though it's a thick wand, it's really easy to get into the inner corner, which is surprising because with thick wands, I always get it on my upper lid. So this one works really well. These bristles are extremely pokey though because I just poked myself in the eye and I feel like my eye is gonna start torrential downpouring. So be really careful with that. I've never had a problem with that before, but these bristles must be really hard. So this is another A+. I love, love, love this mascara, I think it's probably my new favorite, and I know that's early to say, but just from the application, I feel like you can tell with mascara what you're gonna love and what you aren't. And for me, I haven't really ever found a mascara that I've loved before. I find a lot that I like, but nothing that really went on as easy as this and separated them just within the first application. So I'm really liking that. I now see why everybody else loves it so much, and I'm finally on that bandwagon as well. So now that eyes are done, I'm just gonna finish up with lips, and I recently purchased the Bite Beauty Line and Define Lip Primer. I'm super excited about this because I've heard that it gives you a nice smooth surface to start with. My lips are just extremely dry, and I apply Vaseline every single night before I go to bed, so I'm hoping that with this primer, it's gonna help to settle in those fine lines and give me a more smooth surface for my lipstick or lip gloss, whatever I need for the day. It's super, super, super smooth. I really like that. It smells like burnt beeswax, so if you've tried that chapstick before, that's exactly what it smells like, but it feels even better on the lips, and I can already see where the fine lines of my lips are filled in, so I'm super duper excited about this. I already have opened all of my lip liners so far except for this one, so I'm just gonna try this one out because I haven't used it yet and I want everything to be first impressions. It's a little bit lighter than the lip color I'm going to be applying, but I think it'll be fine once I put it over top. This is the Palladio lip liner in the color Tickle Me Pink, and this is only a couple bucks too, so it's really affordable. And I hate unwrapping lip liners. I feel like they take forever and there must be an easier way. This is actually extremely bright pink, so it's not really the color I was going for, but we'll see how it applies. So it actually applies extremely smooth, actually maybe too smooth because it gives me a really hard time on the top lip. Does anybody else have that problem? I feel like my top lip is so hard to line and that's my most important lip to line because my top lip is kind of angled down so I feel like lining it really helps it to kind of be lifted up. But it's just so hard to line that one and I don't know what it is but it's all right. It's a learning curve and I'm definitely learning. For the lip color, I'm using the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream and this is in the color Istanbul SMLC06. 
So this isn't a new product. It's nothing that was recently released or anything. It's just something that I have not opened from my collection yet. And I needed a lip product that was a first impression here. So I actually don't own any other soft matte lip creams from NYX. I own a lot of the extreme lip glosses and colors, but I don't own any of the soft matte lip creams. So we're gonna try this one. It is just a really nice, it's kind of a neutral pink, but also got a brightness to it as well. I love the packaging because this lid is very smooth. I'm trying to think of what it reminds me of. It's like a velvety feel. It's really, really nice. And it feels expensive even though this isn't. It's only like five bucks. So the color is actually brighter than I thought because I feel like in the bottle it's a lot more toned down and more neutral than this color, but this color actually matches the liner better, so that's all right. I feel like every lip product I'm putting on is so smooth, but at the same time I don't know if it's smooth because the product is smooth or because I have that primer on from Bite that was absolutely amazing. But I can say that all of them applied extremely easily. They both worked really well. I wouldn't say they're oh my gosh amazing, but the Bite Lip Primer is oh my gosh amazing. This thing, look at my lips. There's like hardly any wrinkles or fine lines in my lips and that's something I struggle with so much and it took me the longest time to buy this because I was thinking $20 just for a lip primer, is that really going to be worth it? And let me tell you, yes it was. It was absolutely worth it. I buy it over and over and I will every time this runs out because it just makes the application of the lip products so much easier and it looks so much more beautiful. So yes, most definitely. So that is it for my full face of first impressions. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I really enjoyed trying out all of these new products on camera and letting you guys know what I think about them. If you guys have any other questions about any of these products, just feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I'm here to help you and let you know what I think. So I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. And if you found it fun and exciting, just give it a thumbs up because it helps me out a lot and please don't forget to subscribe I appreciate all the love and support I get from you guys and I can't wait to see where we go from here so thank you so much I'll see you guys next time my hair is just wild today isn't it I tried to do like a French braid here at the top into a messy bun but because my hair is dark it just looks like a hot mess so whatever <laughs>